in a universe where life does not end at death. We explore the infinite possibilities forged by our very minds. Welcome to our Thadian Anthologies. Greetings, fellow travelers and storytellers. Welcome to a Reborn in Power series featuring two of Evemore's chosen. One of the Dusk, and one of the Dawn. In the most climactic clash the Core Realms has ever seen. Follow along as we dive into the conflict that curses the realm of Evemore and her children. Last we left off, what do you saw? Palace, and your squadron with your son, Badian, and, well, a few command officers. You were able to get up to the throne room of the true formless. When you got there, William, you were the only one who was able to actually go through the fields for some odd reason. But a bright light shined be- behind the throne, and a voice entered your mind. Fading was able to eavesdrop, reading William's lips, only one side of the conversation. But it seemed as though William was being enticed or haunted into this bright white door almost reminiscent of the throne lord's door you guys were able to well actually the Ritanium helmet was able to create enough room for you to Squeeze on past the barrier, get inside this chamber, and upon using the spectacles of truth that you have, William, after taking off your helmet that's technically not supposed to be taking off, you see two paths. One going straight towards that door that has opened, and another going straight up. Adian and the command officers all go down towards the white door while you and Pallas use your armor to your armored vortex ability to fly up and grab onto the sides begin climbing up and that's where we left off where you got to the edge grabbing on and lifting yourselves up I need you to both to roll me at the last checks if I remember correctly we did reach the top you did? Yes, yeah we, we, were, we uh, rolled at Lettuce checks right and then we did get to the top okay yeah you you get to the top sorry I remember because I lost him <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> I remember staring at some red sconce and then, like, the session ended. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a, there a giant red, red sconce above you. Yeah, we had just st- we had just stopped climbing, gotten into the actual room, and we looked down, and there was no longer a hole that we climbed through, just yeah. ground. Yes. And as you look around this domed chamber, everything looks like 
the same except for this giant. It, it, it encompasses most of the of the ceiling above you, and you feel that sensation that has um, has been constant since you reached the throne room, and the sensation feels like you can't. You feel like you're. You're being blocked by something. As you are there, though, you hear something. (laughs) Against a wall, and and you see it. It's and a huge crumbling of 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 rubble like begins to break through and what do you guys do uh which side of the so it looks like it's coming from uh your left side mm-hmm. uh and it's it's like, like up against the wall the, you're probably about like 30 feet from it but okay. the wall is being broken through right okay, now so this chamber is probably about 30 feet uh like in radius right we're like towards the center of it uh you you guys are in the are in the center of it, yeah. So, so sixty feet diameter. Okay, thirty like, foot, like, thirty like, foot radius. Yes, yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Is there any sort of cover? Any other exits? No, no you can't see no. anything. But it looks like there's something coming through. A wall. I'm gonna put a palace behind me. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say, get in defensive positions now. Okay, uh, I'm going to probably retreat ten feet behind him. Okay. I just have a little bit of distance, so if someone throws a grenade at us, we're not going to both get caught in it. What are you doing? I'm going to um, I'm going to get my thunder snap ready. Okay, you get ready, and as you get your thunder snap ready, you feel a block. The red you- sconce above us. Oh, shit. You feel like you can't use any energy. Helmet. Mm-hmm. Can you reach up there and disable it? Mm-hmm. I, I'm going to try and stealth. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll a stealth check. Uh, as you say this, the helmet says, I can try, but I need to... I need you to reach the wall. On it. And I'm going to start rushing towards the wall. Mm-hmm. You go rush over towards the wall. How tall is the sconce up? Uh, it is probably about 50 feet up. Yeah, okay. You can't, uh, handspring me. I can't handspring you up there, so. Well, maybe I could, but I'm not going to try that. Instead, I'm going to roll stealth. Well, no, 11. Still rolling, per- still rolling pretty well. Um, <laughs> That's what's up. There you go. 24 for stealth. 24. All right. And, uh, you're, you go over, you go over to the wall. The, uh, you, you... Are you going away from where it's being broken through right now, or are you going like closer to it? I'm going. I'm going far away, actually. Okay, you go to the other side, uh, and you go to kind of hide in. Uh, if there's like a, any sort of patch of rubble, right? There, any like if this room is there's no patches of rubble or anything like that. Okay. Um, but the the dim light that extends down from from the the sconce Mm -hmm. there are spots like uh, around the the side of like basically close to the walls they're not very well lit. they're not very well lit so you could probably hide in the in the darkness there so probably between where uh halfway between where william is uh trying to approach the wall and where that entrance is what i assume going to be this entrance very soon uh is i'm going to uh, uh, shirk up against the wall there it continues to you go up and you go to to put your ha- your hands there and you see your ritanium th- begins to seep out straight up and begins to th- go up straight up to the the sconce up above. Do you take your hands off? But w- w- if you, if you try to take your hands off, you you hear your ritanium say, "Don't do that. I cannot protect you if you ha- if you take your hands off." No, I'm just going to get my hands because I'm assuming since he's transferring through, I want him to get it back to me as soon as possible. Yeah, and you see it it's continuing to go upward as it gets up to the sconce. You see the sconce begin to 
fizzle out, and then it <laughs> goes dark in here. Pitch black. What was the total of your stealth? 24. 24. All right. I am going to try to roll stealth check now. Your retaining is still coming back to you. Okay, then I shall. And then you hear... (laughs) And then you hear (laughs) rubble begin to fling inside here. And you hear... (laughs) Chuck for them, please. And then you hear... And it's pitch black dark. You can't see anything. And you then you see lights begin to sh- shine on. And the voice that you heard was Empress Ayuda. Are they here? Can't find them, Empress. Wait. There's two blips. What do you saw? Are you in here? We got a notification that you took off your your helmet. We came as soon as we could. They can't see me right now, right? Like not they, at all. They yeah. can't, but they have their codexes up, and you do remember that Asmalina specifically said that if you if you take off your helmet there is there will be a sent notification to everyone and anyone who's on a rescue op which all which most of the castells are on rescue so they're basically doing the same thing as you um and they're like everyone's kind of going going in and I'm out I'm going to keep one hand on the wall I'm going to put out put my spectacles of truth on and like look in that direction okay you voice. you Go to look in that direction. It's we gonna need to roll a perception check. This is really hard. Okay, and then because you see lights shining towards you, you hear a voice that's familiar to you. Uh, and but you, you only see lights coming towards you, so you can you can only see silhouettes. Like like there, there's just darkness. Even even with the spectacles of truth. Even with the spectacles of truth, you do see lights kind of like shining, like in certain directions. So you said lights were turned on, right? Uh, they're turning on. Uh, like it's like it's like a light on your phone. I see. Okay, so I can't see the people. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do I recognize the voice of the person at all? Right? Were they in the briefing that we were experiencing? Uh, you you did not hear them speak specifically. Okay. But uh, so I don't recognize. Yeah, you don't. You don't. Okay. Okay. Perception? Are you doing something? I know. I'm trying to see if I can get any bonuses for this. Kirk reflex is only worth eavesdrop. For. Eavesdrop. I do have eavesdrop. That, yes, that's what it's used for. <laughs> Thank you. Are, are yes. these lights? Be, have they all begun to move towards the center of the room? Yeah, they're they're beginning to move move along the sides and uh, along the center. There are mm-hmm. probably about six different lights inside here. Sorry, okay. inside here. So that's another D12 for that, right? For eavesdrop. Rank five. Yes. yes rank yeah. five. Yeah. And Spend stamina. Wait, hold up. Do I have talent for this one? Um, the talent, ta- the oh, talent, talent only, matter. It, it doesn't matter. Got gotcha. you. Talent okay, is like yeah. so you can read lips. Oh yeah, that's not gonna work in dark room. Yeah, you're okay. right. I'm going to run my hand very just silently across the book on my hip and summon my familiar. Thirty-seven. Okay, you look over, and you see the spectacles of truth line towards this person and as you see it it looks like it kind of outlines the shape of Empress Ayuda exactly and you look at the other people it doesn't change any of their forms as you as you get a better you the lights begin to get closer and you be, begin, begin to see actual faith, faces. The spectacles are showing that... Well, they're they're getting closer to you guys because they're, they're going towards the actual masks 
itself. Okay. Um, but you you see them with the spectacles. They look like normal Archaeans. But is the lights pointing in the like the of the spectacles? Like it's going in that direction? Like I should be. Like, cause you know, the point no, the not purpose. not like that. There, if if you're going towards Pat, this is more like trying to see the truth behind behind the person. Okay, like so a, it just seems normal with that. Yeah, okay, it doesn't you. seem like they're okay. formless or anything like that. If, if that's what okay. you're. Okay. Okay. Yeah, then I'll reveal myself. Yeah. Uh, Yuda. And then you uh, you hear, huh? and and one person shines a light towards you, and as they shine the light towards you, they they see you. And then Ayuda comes up and is like, Why do you have your mask off? We were trapped and I needed to use these spectacles. <laughs> Why do you have your mask off? I mean, mask. Get the hell out of here. That's a 40 and slip there. Yeah. That's a 40 and slip. <laughs> that was good. That was good. <laughs> mm-hmm. Social distance. Yeah. <laughs> we were trapped and I needed to use the spectacles to get, to get my men through. I see. Are you with anyone else? Where's well, your squadron? I'm here. There's another. And a light points towards you. I have my helmet on. So. And. Oh, good to see we have a rune forger here, too. One of the Archaeans say. Yes. It was necessary to find our way here. Although, I am surprised to see. Are you here? We must be. Were you, were they on a different uh, extraction um, crew, like rescue squadron? They're yeah, they're more more trying to like search for any, anyone who needs who needs rescuing rather than specific individuals. Okay. Oh, um, and the alert went off because yeah. took oh, off. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. And they were the closest ones. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm going to <laughs> emphasize you're on board. Okay. Okay. Uh, we are on the trail of. I suppose it would be based on a couple of us. Powerful assumptions. We are on the trail of the Ren Emperor. The Ren Emperor? Yes. All right, well, we we were able to wipe out a few of the Cantorite forces. And you see, she looks over. She, this, she is huge. Like, oh. this is a very tall... Archaean? Archaean okay. woman... Who, since I am Archaia from Archaia, would I know she's from a Castel? Uh, she doesn't seem like she's from a Castel, but she seems very regal. Regal, okay. Yeah. Um, gosh, go on and roll me a lore check. Okay, I can do that. It's an eleven. Trying to recall images, you have seen images of this person before. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm from but, Bo- Bo- Borel, so yeah, yeah, you've seen images of this person mainly in like maybe like war propaganda. I see during the co- the conflict, the Archean conflict. I see. So I don't really have a positive or negative association with this person. And she's like, "All right, well, William, if you are looking for Emperor Zon, I suppose we could help out. That would be greatly appreciated." And I'm going to put the helmet back on. So where is the rest of your squadron? We have explosives being planted um, down be- down below. Explosives. We found what seems to be a machine that helps launch these cantorites out to where reinforcements are required. So it's a plan B for us to escape if needed. Yes, I suppose we've never really no- known how... The formless spawn when cataclysms occur, but that seemed just a logical way to explain. Much it. of what I've seen here does challenge part of my view on how they come into existence. And she looks back towards her, towards the mages that are at her disposal, and she she says, "Do you need me to spare some to go check on your allies, your squadron?" If possible. Uh, well, how, how many do I see in the squadron? Uh, you see six. Mm-hmm. Mages. Mm-hmm. I mean, we just came from a tunnel where we had blocked the path. 
at least five yes. times over. So mm-hmm. I don't think they're going back the way we came. No. So they would they would have to go out the way they originally went in. Oh, I see. No communications back to you. No, we purposely kept communications to a minimum. I see. Well, then, I suppose we move forward. What's your next course of action, William Saw? We're specifically after Emperor Zahn. I sent my son and a few others of the squadron after the Throne Lord. Do you still have the Spectacles of Truth on? Oh, yes, I do, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll have those on for like right now. That'll put on the helmet after I say the direction where to go. Okay. Um, as you go to, as as you're looking towards like around and ch- and checking everything, I need you to roll me another perception check. Okay. Well, I am definitely using that again. So, mm-hmm. I go over to some of the mages and say, "Would you happen to have any energy potions?" On you by chance? Oh, of course. I I have a few. I carry I carry a few on me. You are better prepared than I am. I only brought one. Oh. Twenty nine. Well, I mean, you are you are a rune forger, right? I am, but twenty nine. I I show him my uh, Magen link and I say uh, multiple multiple disciplines. Okay, you you sh- you go to show him the 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 Magen link, and as you show him the Magen link, William, you your spectacles of truth are showing you multiple paths that are kind of going through uh, one going back down straight beneath you mm-hmm. and then um, one actually leading straight down the path that was just broken through okay and then you also see a strange anomaly occur as a palace puts his margin link up and you see it kind of shift into this weird black, darkened, almost strange pattern that goes up and it, it like kind of turns to blood for a second. And then it shifts back to, um, to a geolink. And that's what you see. I think the way you've forged for us is a good place to start. Back there, there's only there's only bodies back there. Yes, but the strand, right? That path wasn't there before, but there is one now. I believe your spectacles have corrected us towards the right direction. You are correct, Palace. All right. And you guys begin uh, to head that way? Yes, we'll start heading towards there. And yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll start doing that. Mm-hmm. Okay. You guys begin to he- head down that, that path. And mm-hmm. did I ever get an energy potion from one of those? Oh, yeah, yeah. They, they, gave, you, they gave you an energy potion. Uh, actually, let me, let me check on that room. I have it right here if you'd like. Oh, if, I, if, I, I yeah. actually have like a updated version. Oh, I see. Okay. Your material's outdated. There so is go. mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I do know is that I'm in dire need of stats. <laughs> stats. Uh, so it's going to be. So you're going to get. A, it's going to be a rank three. Ocean, um, it's so it's going to be a three d eight added to your energy okay. on use. So I also before this I used my starting uh, funds for to buy uh, five stamina potions and one energy potion according to the old rules. Mm-hmm. Can I keep those and just use them as they are? Or? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I have outdated potions. <laughs> <laughs> That's a total of twelve energy recovered for me. I say thank you. That really hit the, <clears throat> and I sort of break. <laughs> that really hit the spot. <laughs> Not used to the new potions. As you guys continue moving forward through the this tunnel, 
that begins to lead down where you're, you keep your spectacles of truth on. Uh, are you, wait, sorry, you keep your spectacles of truth on? I'm going to keep this on, and but since they know that I'm using this as a guiding way for us, um, they're they're pretty much just going to be on guard. Okay. You know, in case anything okay. comes by, because they, at least they know I'm me. Like, they can tell I'm me. Okay. But that's true, but if any of the formless take your form, they'll know the plan. True. Damn it! We, we, it's, That's true. Okay. Well, I already tell the spectacles the truth is going a specific I, direction anyway. So yeah, I, it's, it, I'll just take the thing off that and put it on the helmet. Okay. If you'd like, we, we could keep the spectacles on. <laughs> no, because then they everyone know everyone the plan. knows the plan. Shit. If only we had someone who didn't know the plan. I mean, I would bring up my familiar and say, "You don't know the plan. You're dumb." <laughs> Doesn't communicate too well, though. I suppose not. I don't think the the spectacles are fitted for their face, anyways. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I dispel it. You guys continue moving forward. Uh, it's just continuously moving forward, uh, and and you're going down, and then finally you get to a fork, and you see they uh, Empress Ayuda looks at, over at you. It's like. Anything, any specific direction that we need to go? Which way did you take? Well, we came from the left path. Then right might be best. Um, Palace. Yes. Can you have your familiar scout out head real quick? I have used it too many times today. That's fair. My apologies. <laughs> We've used it in more deadly situations. Uh, it has helped us greatly. Empress, you, I would have looked over and like, why don't you use the... Because of a formless... Yes. We can we can cover you. Mm-hmm. I... It doesn't make sense. This is a, a this is a cross. It's, it's, it's to a fork in the road with two paths. Yes, two paths. So they came from one way. So yeah. we should we just went, go the other. Yes. There's only one third path that hasn't been gone down. Sorry, as you can probably tell, Palace, I'm pretty skeptical of... Of what we faced earlier. I see. And you begin to go down the rightward path of this fork. As you continue to move forward, uh, it begins to wind downward, wind downward, until it reaches another fork. There's three paths this time. What do you do? It's almost like this was created just so... Just so I... Just for the opportunity for me to take it off at the wrong moment, wrong time. (laughs) Empress, would you like to take a pick? She looks at all of them, and then she closes her eyes. And she begins to walk down the center path. Center it is. As she heads down this path, she goes over towards where it almost looks like there is a dead end. You guys you guys reach a dead end. Mm-hmm. And she's like, ah... Fences off today. From what I have, well, from what we've seen, these counterites come through the walls. The walls are permeable to them, which means that the paths are all around us, most likely. But some are trapped, as Palace and I did see earlier. Must be careful before crossing through. I'm going to take a quick look at the walls to see if there's any formless heads poking out of these permeable walls. Go ahead and roll perception check. It's a one for a total of 19. No, you don't see any, any formless. Back the way we came, then? Or does anyone have... How did you make it through the other walls? Did you have charges with you? Uh, 
<laughs> and you see she, her fist <laughs> enlarges. Ah, you are the charges. And she's like, should I try it? I can tell you pack a punch. Be my guest. And you see her. <laughs> and it begins to break through. As it begins to break through, you hear. <laughs> coming out of the walls. Uh-huh. Now you see. I see. Uh, it looks like four heads begin to pop out. As, the, as these four heads begin to pop out, you see the mages. <laughs> begin to uh, channel these it, it looks like these strange mu- like geolinks mm-hmm. that almost turn the, the walls into sand and as it poof, turns to sand they, the walls begin to kind of like suck in the mm-hmm. the formless into the walls like like their uh, like their um, what's it called uh, sand like quicksand oh, quicksand, quicksand. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like, like quicksand on the walls and they begin to just <laughs> cycle in, and they're like, Rah! as the uh, mages kind of give you guys looks. It's like, we've been doing this all day. <laughs> <laughs> we've only done that a couple times, and we're already worn thin. Quite useful and much appreciated. Mm-hmm. And uh, as they do that, you see them kind of <laughs> suckle them through as finally uh, uh, Ayuda punches through and breaks through the wall. As she breaks through the wall, uh, you see the other mages that just use, use those. They hand out energy potions. I see. Mm-hmm. Would you like to try one of mine? It's an older brew. <laughs> Vintage, as they say. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, as you continue moving forward into this chamber... You look inside of it and you see these archways, three of them. And they, the archways are kind of like, they're outside of the, or they're, they're, they're more like, um, well, they're just arch, they're archways, but the walls behind them are, it almost feels like you're em- you're staring into an empty dark space. They don't have that same white glow, but if I had to guess, I'd say these things act slightly similar to how the Throne Lord's little pocket door work. You step in and you end up somewhere else. You know much about the Dwarven Citadel? No, just making inferences. Can I roll an analyze check? Sure. About whether or not I know a lot about the Dwarven Citadel? What, what, what are you trying to an- analyze well, about? Because when I had the Spectrum of Truth on, and I noticed how the modulant kind of changed a bit, like mm-hmm. it had like this darker thing that kind of went to like the Geo stuff, kind of like as if, kind of more of kind of, it almost felt like a camouflage to me. Okay. Then he seems to know more than I think he would know about stuff. Okay. And it, I don't know. I'm getting up. Maybe I'm just getting a little paranoid. So, oh yeah, that was a 10. So, uh, 10 plus, what was that? Oh, sorry, what track was I doing? Oh yeah, analyze. Uh, 16, I don't know. Plus 15, 25. 25. Uh, um, Mm-hmm. 25, as you look at him and he's talking about the Dwarven Citadel, it seems like he knows stuff about the Dwarven Citadel, main, pro- most likely because he's a rune forger and he needs to know about different regions. Mm-hmm. All right. So. You're looking at me kind of funny. Does he know that? <laughs> Uh, can for an analyze can check. An analyze check on this one. <laughs> okay, I don't. Sorry. Uh, let me retract that statement. That's a seventeen. Seventeen. Uh, you're looking across everyone. You do see him kind of eyeing you for a second. Um, after you had just said something, after you had just said like an inference about. My my apologies. I'll keep the inferences to myself. 
No, there's nothing wrong with it. And you see Ayuda looks over and is like, So, um, shall we go through one of these, or do you think it's a bad idea to go through one of them? Without knowing where it leads. Exactly. When one of ours was almost trapped, I was able to stand behind him and pull him back if it was drawing him in. Have have one of the Runeforgers go through and have another one on standby to pull him back in case. You mean the mages? I mean mages, yes, my bad. Mm -hmm. Thank you. (laughs) Suddenly, you hear a noise occur. And one of the the archways opens what looks like a void rift. And appearing out of it comes a figure that steps through. And as they step through, you see a towering figure in this. It almost looks like this turquoise, a dark, a darkened turquoise coloration, a heavy armor set that behind his shoulders are two extended hilts. And he looks up, his helmet outlining a little bit of his face. William. He looks familiar. And as he steps forward, the Empress looks over and is like, William? Ah. Oh. And you see a towering reticon, purple skin, the face of Zeratul. As he approaches, the mages all begin to charge up their Majin links. What do you do? I want to roll an analyze check on him. Go ahead. Thirty-one. He looks consumed. What did they do to you? I don't know what you're talking about. All I know is I need to kill you. At least that's what the voice in my head tells me. And you see he pulls out two massive, what looks like darkened obsidian axes. And they begin to flow with these void, this void-like energy at their blades. Is everyone coming at me? Because I accept it. I will sort of very quietly mouth to William in a way that he can understand. Is this a friend of yours? (sighs) He was. You. I'm going to use head start to get this going. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay, wait. Mm -hmm. You're getting in position to fight? Yes. And everyone's there? I... I'm going to just very quickly try something because William said this was an ally. Yeah? Sure. Yeah? I'm going to just sort of reach behind my back, right? So I'm not obviously going for a rune at the front, right? I'm just going to grab one of my arcane runes and uh, on the other side, one of my runic scrolls. 
because I start with three of those. Okay. Um, and I'm going to just very quickly try a runic enlightenment on this individual. Okay. And I'm going to try and... It says I can use it on an ally. He said once, right? So interpret that how you may, but I'm going to try and uh, heal the ally of a negative effect, which I assume consumption might be one of them. Okay, you uh, you use that and no effect. No effect. Okay. I'm sorry I tried. Was it the obsidian reticon? What? He looks at you, he's like, well, what are you talking about? I'm sorry, do I know you or something? Zeratul. How do you know my name? Oh, they told me that you know my name. And that's going to be even fun. Even more fun. And you see him kind of like uh, swinging his axes around. And you see Empress Ayuda is like, what are, what are we doing? Defend yourself. Okay. And he... Is this a company? Is this reticon accompanied by any other reticon? No, no, just one. Just one. Um. Uh. You can roll an analyze check on him to see if you, uh, or strategy or whatever you want. I, don't, I have uh, <laughs> neither of those. I guess I'll try and roll energy to see if I understand. Because uh, I've I've seen reticon. I probably haven't yeah. seen you. You well. I mean, he looks like a. Garesque. A Garesque. Yeah. But his armor looks like he has a little bit of ritanium on his armor, actually. I see. Energy for a total of 24. You look at him, then you look over at William Soar, you look over at Empress Ayuda. You look over at the mages. You look at yourself. Maybe William Sor- William Soar and Empress Iota could survive this. The mages would probably be broken in half. You need to probably run. Okay. This guy is powerful. Gotcha. I. <laughs> so he came out of one of the arches. Yes. I am going to. Look at the other two. Are there any distinguishing marks on the other arches? Uh, there, no, no, not at all. Gotcha. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for William's move then. What are you doing, William? Because I can tell that I can tell this is Zeratul from the way he talks. Yes. So I know that it he is. is consumed, especially concerning the void, and then also that voice that reminds me of the architect. So I'm assuming there's little I can do. However, I'm not going to try to kill him, but I'm going to have to injure him a lot to break him. This is true. So. So. Shall we roll? Yes. Head start for initiative. Yes. Okay. Are we doing squad initiative or? Oh, that would be a pretty crazy squad initiative. <laughs> uh, sure. Yeah, let's do squad initiative. Okay. <laughs> Come on, highest <laughs> agility. Let's go. Nineteen. All right. Better than me. Nineteen. Wait, could I use quick reflexes for that or not? No. Okay, gotcha. And that one is, well, you go first. You guys all go first. Okay. As you guys all <laughs> begin your assault, go ahead and do your head start and then... You can go on from there. Starting with Plasma Shield at its uh, max. Okay. You 
get into your defensive form using your plasma shield. And roll your check. Is this a de- defensive form? So your ion link. Your ion link. And since it's defensive, would quick reflexes work? Or is that only for dodge? That's only for dodge. Got it. You're lucky he doesn't go first. I know. You guys have literally like enough to deal with him, I guess, for now. So I'm just making sure if there's anything I could potentially add before I roll that, but no. Okay. And this... Wait, since I'm using it, it's high, it's rank. Oh, wait, this is no, wrong. No, no, it's just, it's just rolling. Yeah. Oh, it's just wrong for the regular. Yeah, yeah. sorry. But it's critical. critical. So you <laughs> get into your defensive form. That's a 30 total, yeah. right? Okay. Actually, no, it's... Wait, oh, yeah, no. Yeah, it's 30, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> no, I know what you're thinking. Yeah. It's not that. Yeah. Uh, okay. 30 total. Uh, second, what's the, what, what else are you going to do? So that was a form and a maneuver. Mm-hmm. You have two more maneuvers and one more form. I am going to use um, Magical Mind. Okay. And that's going to be at its highest, too. Okay. And then I want to finish off with energetic flow. Energetic flow? Yeah. Okay. Because I want to restore that stuff. All right. I'll definitely use that at its max. You breathe in, begin, like, literally just con- doing all your stuff. You have one form mm-hmm. that you can use. And that, oh, yeah, that's 60 dwells for that. So, gotta recover. Bad. Okay, so 12, 24, 31, 39, 40. Yeah, and I'm not adding any ion link bonuses to this, right? It's just the roll. It's just the roll. Got you. Yeah, then 40. So hey, that's actually not bad. Okay, and then uh, you have one more form. Plasma Arch. All right. Go ahead and roll your damage. Oh, roll, roll your attack. Yes. <laughs> he needs a dodge. Ah, oh, son of a... <laughs> okay, I rolled pretty low on that. I got a two. But, um... Two plus... I'm in bonus 18. 20. 20? You see you go in... <laughs> shuck out towards him, and he just kind of double steps for a side, and he's like, whoa, missed me. And uh, oh wait, no, you couldn't do that. That was a that was a form and a maneuver. You couldn't do that. Oh, so I. Wait. Oh no, you you could do that because it's technically now your guys' turn. Yeah, because it would be my first turn yeah. now. Yeah. Um, anything you want to do? Two defensive forms, please. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the first is a parry of nineteen. Okay. And the second, it's a critical. So nice. it's a parry of 21. Nice. Okay. Okay. And you'll get uh, two uses of your of your level, of your level dice. Yes. On, 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 uh, at the start on, of my next turn. Yeah, at the start of my next turn. Um, but as that happens, uh, is that all you're going to do? Um, so I'm going to get behind everyone else. Okay. You get behind everyone else. Okay. Is that it? Yeah, I just I don't have my weapon summoned or anything. Right, you just gotta like put your hands up. <laughs> no, it's more like, uh, like, like yeah. Oh shit! Oh shit! Uh, what are you doing, William? Um, let's see. So I'm taking a look here. Let's go with for my mace rod. I am going to use. Let's like I might use its special move, but let me just take a look. Wait, at it real quick. the thing that because you guys are in, it, you guys are inside about. I would say a, a twenty foot room mm-hmm. that is that is also a, cube? a, a, a circular circular room, room. Okay. and the three archways are are probably about like you guys are in, in the center, so it's like ten, they're ten feet away from you. Yeah, true. This is, it, this is a small room to fight in with everyone it's who's who's inside here. So if you try and hit the AOE, <laughs> right, you're gonna hit us. How many people are in the squad right now? Uh, there's six. Okay. Plus, 
basically the, the exact same amount as you had before. So six eight. plus. Oh, okay, so total of eight now. Plus Empress Ayuda and you guys. Damn, okay. Gotcha. Six so mine, mages? Yeah. yeah, six mages. There might need to be some casualties, but we'll see. Okay, so um, take the mace rod out. And let's see, I already have the defensive form. I am going to... Do you have uh, plans for oh, no, potential yeah. other things coming too? Yeah, so no, and that's what I'm nervous about. So that hard go. Oh, there it is. Found it. Okay, there we go. Anybody got a cleanse on hand? Um, I am going to. Sorry, wrong character. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what, what are you doing? Sorry, Come sorry, that, that's a good one. Um, I'm going to use my mace rod, and he, you said he's how many feet away? He is about, right now, 10 feet away from you. 10 feet. Okay. I want to take my mace rod out, but I want to get in defensive form with that. Okay. You're already kind of in a defensive form oh, yeah. with Oh, yeah, with the plasma shield, too. Yeah. Shield. Yeah. I I'm really want to prepare for this because I have a feeling. Basically, you wanted him to, yes. to attack first kind so you of, know. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> so you could... No, I just because I want to get everything ready. Yeah, yeah. Well, you have your plasma... Are you just going to wait until you're, um, until he goes? Question, would I be able to plasma arch again or would I not be able to? Yeah, you can. Actually, I would now because yes. it's like the next turn for that. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Then I'll just actually hit it again with the plasma arch. Okay. okay you go wait. to shock him again. Okay. Hopefully a lot better. Actually, no, 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 no. Actually, instead, I want to place a charge current on him. Okay, uh, I need you to roll a brawl check with agility. Brawl with agility. Yeah, 23. He dodges out of the way. Dang it. (laughs) Quickly. He is spry. He did... It's zero tool. Mm-hmm. You've seen him fight. Um, and as this is happening, uh, anything else you want to do? Anything else you want to do? No, that's my turn. No, I'm okay, good. I'm going to go for the other guys. You see the mages all begin to do a full on, ba- basically t- turn the ground in, into into sand just just like before to try to trap him. And then you see Empress Ayuda go go up to, to start wailing on him. Um, he needs to roll his strength check to get out. Easy enough. He just kind of steps out of the sand and they're like, huh? and then Empress Ayuda goes to wail two punches on him. With a critical. She actually does hit. She actually does hit. That's what's up. Well, then. She's an empress for a reason. Uh, so I need to do damage for that. armor 42 minus 26 42 minus 26 that's a 16 16 yeah 16 points of damage let's see where's my calculator all right you see she she wheels on him two strikes and he just like a little blood trickles down he's like oh I'm so excited for this and he looks over and he's like let's go and the and with that it is now his turn as he goes up you see him 
He has his his two ma- massive axes out. These things are heavy weapons, and he he's holding him them with one hand each. Um, then he goes up, and he <laughs> spends some a lot of stamina. Okay, does that, and then, so he does that, and then he does that, he does that, okay. One strike on each of the mages, and then two strikes on Empress Ayuda. Is that, that's eight strikes total. A lot of strikes. Oh my Especially God. with heavy weapons. Hit. He hit. He hit. One is able to actually dodge all the way. Barely. Okay. Still a dodge. Give some hope. Give some hope. So that was three, right? That was three hits, yep. one miss. Hit, he, he hit. That's five total. Five now. total. Easy hit. So that's six. That's all six of yeah. the, the mages. One of them was able to dodge. And Ayuda? Hits. Aw. First one. It's second one. Okay. So. That is. Each of them gets 2d12 plus 11. Slashing damage. And void. You see the first one strikes straight into the chest of one, and then he begins to spiral around them. And uh, you see what looks like energy begin to flow out of them. Oh, that's not that much. Mm. That's a lot. Oh, come on. <laughs> you see the first strike on Empress Ayuda kind of... Well, first, five, the five that got hit, the mages, they all get their their energy siphoned out of them, and you see the energy flows right back into... Zero Tool? Well, actually, yeah. It goes back into Zero Tool, and, and he also... Re- he recovers at his health. And also back into his. Wait, yeah, yeah. You're gonna need a. <laughs> he. Yeah, he gets everything mm. back basically okay. that he just lost. No ads. We need real contenders here. <laughs> <laughs> um. But yeah, that was that was his turn. You guys' turn. What do you want to do? Okay. I'll roll recover some stamina. Why not? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. That's great. That's a one. So none ten. of them, none of the mages died though. Yeah. They, they seem like they're still fine. So I recovered. But there are. Yeah. But uh, after all of that happened, the mages all look towards Empress Ayuda to see what what she thinks is going down, and they all look concerned. I will allow you guys to roll me analyze checks if you'd like. Yes, I'll do that. Sure. Fifteen on analyze. Fifteen. Eighteen. Both of you, like it, it's the heat of the moment. It's kind of hard to get this this stuff situated, uh, but it just seems like they're waiting for a response from Emperor Tsuruda, whether or not they need to eat, do something, mm-hmm. escape, whatever. Mm-hmm. Okay. I am going to say out loud, taking control of the situation, and say, William, which door? Which, how many do I see? 
You see archways that have no, like, there's just darkness that goes through them, and then back where you came from. Which door? Further back, the where the area we came through. That's where the spectacles are. Told he doesn't have the go. spectacles on him. I right know. Now. Yeah. Okay. Are you? Do you put the spectacles on you? It will make no, you vulnerable. I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. No. Okay. Not right now. Okay. I say we need to run. He'll keep following us through. Not if we break it. And at that point, I will summon up my verdant ally, uh, spending my full. What is it? 42? 42 energy. Okay. Right? And I will have it wrap around each of the archways, if that's possible, with all of its um, sort of prying roots. And my plan, I will just voice it now, is to have us all run through and command it to crush the archway as we run through so he can't follow. Okay, so... Wait, so Zeratul can't follow, or so Zeratul can't? I I want us all to run through. Because so, wait, are you going through the archway or back where you came from? So there's is there only one archway? I thought there were there, three. there are three archways. Yes, that's why. But it looks like there's just like like it's just darkness when you go through. You don't know what's oh, through it. I see. So it doesn't yeah it doesn't activate when we walk through it. You don't, You're don't. not sure. You haven't you haven't tried. So I mean, you could try. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you do need to strategize for this though You're yeah like, this is not just like a hack and slash yeah kind of environment uh-huh. right now i'm going to run over i'm in the back so i'm going to spend as much stamina as i need to to run over to one of the portals and see if i can put my hand through and i really hope it doesn't instantly teleport me to wherever it leads but whichever one is closest that zeratul didn't arrive from i'm going to put my hand through that one and see if it poofs okay so you you're gonna run around Yes. Okay. Try um, hopefully staying out of Zeratul's range. Okay. You You are able to do so. Okay. With you, my full 30 feet? You With your full 30 feet, you cannot move any further. Okay. Um, but once you once you get over there and you go to put your hand through it, yep. as you go and put your hand through it, you touch something solid. Touch something solid. Yes. Is and it, you, it, you no longer can see your hand. Like, I see. It looks like it's, it's cut off at... at Right at the edge of your forearm. They're open portals. So it would seem? You're not sure. It it almost feels like this, like, like there's empty space and then you touch something solid. Whatever it is, it feels, it feels like the normal walls. Just like the normal walls. <laughs> Shit. Can I stick my head through? You go and stick your head through it. You're just in complete darkness. Complete darkness. What are you going to do, William? I am going to uh, plasma arch on uh, Zeratul. Okay. Okay. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Yes. To hit. Yes. All right. I actually need to roll now for him. You actually hit him. Yes, and of course, you know I would have used my all of the okay, yeah. Of last March. Well, yeah, obviously. Exactly. How much I got going on right now? Okay. This is, by the way, the second the second round. Yes. Mm-hmm. So it lasts for a number of rounds, right? Uh, the plasma shield. No, shield. no, the ma- magical mind. I have to double check that. Give me a sec. Mm-hmm. Or does it last the entire counter? I'm not sure. Uh, want me to just read it out? Yes. When charging your Majin Link, you can choose a number of magical abilities that you can have equal to this feat's rank that only cost 24 energy to use at full power. Oh, now, oh, This yeah. lasts until your Majin Link ends. Okay. Okay. Yeah, then the talent is all the abilities chosen only cost 12 energy to use at full power. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, you already chose your abilities, yes. right? Yeah. Yeah. Plasma Arch is definitely one of them. Yeah. Let's get it. Fifty-two. Fifty-two. 
All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, 20, 26 damage. Plasma Arch does shock damage and shock damage. Oh, it actually ignores that. Never mind. So fifty-two. I mean, it's good damage, but when he hits you, it's gonna come back to him. We'll see. Well, I got the plasma shield up. When he hits any of us other than you, he's gonna get it back. Uh, he's gonna come after me after I hit him. I hope so. It's zero tool. Um. Wait. The plasma shield only lasts. Does it last for one round? Because one round has already passed, and you never got attacked. Uh, never oh, got attacked. This is, oh, Remember, this but you do. Is it only one round? Well, it's usually if, if you, you're using a defensive form, so it only yeah. like lasts for one round until you do it again on your next turn. Gotcha. Kind okay. of thing. Um. But yeah, you shock him, and you see he he gets shocked for a second, almost getting paralyzed. But he's just like <laughs> shakes it off, and it looks over you at you. He's like, "I'm supposed to kill you, but last, so wait your turn." And uh, anything else you guys want to do? So. Do I have a, your, uh, your head I, is in I, the yeah, darkness? I reach for my codex, which I guess can be a maneuver, right? Right? Yeah. If, if maneuver, right? Yeah. Turn on codex light. You turn on the codex light, and you just see a wall. It's just a wall. Oh, yeah, okay. and it looks al- almost like there's like a shroud of darkness that that is lining okay. where you're kind of. Does the your head feeling in. of putting my hand on that solid surface remind me of the force fields from earlier that only William was able to pass through? No. No. Okay. This feels like an actual solid wall. Yeah. Shit. Okay. But uh, when you do, when you're inside the actual darkness there, yeah. it feels like there's some kind of energy that's flowing through you a little bit. But it's not really affecting you too much. Okay. Anything else you guys want to do? Before roll I, some, yeah, I'll roll uh, some more defensive forms. Right now. <laughs> well, I know he's not going to be specifically coming after me right now, so no reason for the plasma shield <laughs> yet. Um, I'm just going to roll regular defensive form just in case. The 17 on the defensive parry. Oh shit! I forgot to do something, but it's fine. No, no. When you guys have a lot of stuff to do, it's hard to remember everything. Yeah. I mean, I'm also running other characters. There too. you go. That's the that's the problem. Uh, okay, I got I cocked it on that one. I'm trying to roll regular defensive form just in case. Okay, go ahead. Okay, I like that one. That one's better. Uh, twenty nine. Okay. No oh, wait, actually, no, no. I'm gonna use quick reflexes on that. So. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. That's that's smart. It's very smart. Hell yeah. <laughs> Okay, so 21 plus 18, 39. 39. Good. We'll see if he can beat that, because he has potential for beating that. Hopefully he does not. <laughs> but yeah, you, you, you do that. You don't do anything else on your turn. You don't move or anything. Um, William Soar? I do not. Okay, you just stand put watching as your friend is starting to like completely butcher all these archaeans your people well like i mean i'm attacking There's i know I, can do. Well, I mean i mean you're sh- you're shocking at him but yeah. like you're like oh shit what like I'm, i mean i there's no other attacks i can do right now i know yeah like i just gotta what are you doing i rolled my defensive forms i'm going to spend st- how far away is the next archway uh it's literally like 
Right next to it. Right next to it? How much stamina do I have to spend additionally, right, to move to the archway and look through it? Uh, probably just eight. Eight? Okay. I'll spend eight stamina to look through the next, the middle archway, I guess it would. Same exact thing. Same exact thing. The one that he came through? That's the, 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 that's mid, the middle one? Okay. Yeah. It's not like rippling with void energy anymore? Uh, no, it's, it's, uh, it's not rippling with the vo- void energy any, anymore. Um, but yeah, it, it looks exactly, it, it feels exactly the same. Shit. I'll spend eight more stamina to move to the next archway. Okay. Why not? Same thing. Same thing. Shit. Okay. I, that's my defensive forms. I'm at the archway. Okay. All right, whatever. All right. Let's do it. I realize I don't. I don't need to roll. <laughs> yeah. I was rolling for stupid reasons before. I need to roll for damage specifically. Um, that's good. That makes things easier. But I will. Yeah. So they. You see. They. He continues to slaughter through. The. The rest of them. Except for Sayuda. Gets hit once. Gets hit twice. You see he recovers his health from before. As the mages all... <laughs> their energy is completely siphoned. They they all look up towards Empress Ayuda, who doesn't take too much damage. She gets <laughs> uh, struck twice. Um, and she looks up and she's like... <sighs> she, she still has a lot of fight in, left in her. Um, and Zeratul is just kind of like twirling his his axes, and he's like, oh, and he puts one over his shoulder. He's like, he asked me if I needed help for this. I really didn't. Okay. And Mages, retreat end- back now. Yeah. Is that the end of his he's turn? He's going to keep siphoning. Mm-hmm. That is the end of his turn. He, when, he, 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 when he hears that, he looks over towards you. He's like, that's not fair. I like having them here. The more people, the, the better. As he says that, though, you begin to hear, <laughs> and you see multiple formless begin to rush through. About maybe like 10 of them. As they begin to rush through, you see, Zeratol looks back. He's like, "More people!" And you see, he has his his axes ready. He said, "You last," which means them first. Which means we leave before they all die. Exactly what I was thinking. Roll their initiative. All right. Zeratol technically goes first before them, but it is their turn okay. as they come inside. And they go to strike as Zeratul multiple times. I got a plan. Zeratul parries every single one of them. <laughs> and then repasse every single one of them. Blanket statement. Blanket statement. Mm-hmm. Classic Zeratul. <laughs> and as he does so, it looks like he's like, he's ex- expending stamina as he's attacking, but as soon as he attacks and, and, and slashes them, his stamina recovers from the siphoning. And he just starts wailing. One of them gets their head, their, their head completely cleaved off. Another one get, gets, uh, gets com- like their body completely mutilated. Um, and, then, and then he, he grabs another one with his, with his axe and then throws it directly at, at, at the rest of them as they all begin to kind of topple over, um, blocking the exit. From where you guys were just are, are just at, and Zeratul is just having a blast right now. Okay, that's, um, is that uh, the end of Zeratul's turn? That wasn't even his turn. Uh, that was just that their was turn their turn. I see. And now it is your guys' turn. turn. Okay, I'm going <laughs> after looking through all three archways, seeing the same thing. I have a plan. I say, William, tell us which doorway we need to go through, and I will get in between him and Zeratul so that if. Like, basically grant him cover, 
okay. so that he can put on the spectacles without either A, becoming vulnerable to the point where Zeratul can attack him, or B, getting seen by the formless. All right. Right? All right. Yeah. Since the formless wouldn't be able to see because they're tossed back, right? So if that's the quick thing, I'll quickly uh, shift them on. Okay, you go to shift them on. No one, you're you're technically vulnerable when you're doing this, but Zeratul is so so occupied. And he's occupied. focused on everyone else anyway. Yeah. He said it was going to come for me until after. As you do this, you put your spe- spectacles of truth on. You see one light leading straight to Zeratul, and one light leading all the way back down where you guys came from. We need to get out now. Let's see. Okay. We need to. He, he points back through with the pile of formless. He, where is Zeratul is at? Too. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm going to say keep those spectacles on. And I is. So the, there's a, a pile of uh, formless bodies that is blocking the doorway. Uh. It looks like there are multiple formers that are getting past those bodies. They're climbing up them that have just been the the pile has been just been made by Zeratul, but Zeratul is is still at the doorway with his axes about ready to cleave off the rest of their heads. Okay. And does William think I know I don't know I don't know this, but I want you to, to think about this. Does William think that that line leading back is to his son back towards the throne lord's con- conduit gateway um from what it looks like it's like multiple colorations that are, go- that are going straight back okay. there could be many of the paths but my initial reaction with me not having gone through would initially think okay because that other thing was solid underneath us we couldn't go back down there anyway so we would have to go out through and there was the also two forked pathways that you just yeah. went there's that as well. And you didn't look through the spectacles. Nope. Exactly. Both of those ways. So we'll take... So we'll head out and... Based on what... Actually... Ugh. I don't want to wear the spectacles for that. Okay. What we'll do is we'll head out. Put the helm back on because of the... Uh, too many formless around. I can't risk that. I'm going to put the helmet back on. I am going... To, and pretty much break through the formless... After heading out, make the first left, go through that path. We can't use the portals. Okay. I will tell everybody to run past the formless, right? To go back that way and run past them. And I want to be... um, Once that happens, I want to be the last person in line, and I'm going to get ready for something. Okay. All right. Uh, wait, so you are going to tell everyone to run past the formless? Yes. Okay. Yes, because I don't think the far I'm not sure, I don't remember. I don't think the formless sap energy, and that's mostly the damage they've taken. So I think they can tank through it, hopefully. But either way. Um, and I want to be between the rest of the retreating party, which who does that? Who, who follows through with that? Uh, Empress Ayuda looks over and is like, we, uh, she she will she will follow. Okay. Um, and you see the the rest of the mages all try to get up. You see two of them fall back down, and their life force is completely drained. They're like gone. they're 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 dead already. All, yeah, they're dead it, already. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> We're going. Okay. So. so. And what does William do? Um, I am going to see if I can go right behind Zeratul while he's attacking the formless to put a charge current on him. Okay. Go ahead. Do I get advantage from that because he's not focused on me? Sure, I'll allow it. Okay. We're all with agility. Got it. Twenty-six. You go up to to go and grab him, and he grapples onto your arm and kind of throws you back away from him. You li- he literally like, just he, it was yeah. just there, Damn it. and he, 
and he he throws you back. He's like, not on my watch. And then you see he gets hit, and he looks back. He's like, Ugh. and he goes back towards them. Okay. Um, where do you move now? Can I try it again? <laughs> to charge current him? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Because I'm try I'm trying to work something out here. Twenty-five. No, he <laughs> he does okay, he yeah, he no. kind of like kicks you back. Damn it! Uh, he's like he's like stop it! Gosh, wait your turn. Okay. Is William past the threshold that of where the chamber opens up? Uh, no, no. He keeps getting pushed is, back. Is everyone else? Uh, everyone else. Everyone who is possibly going to is there? Are they there besides William? See, uh, the Empress kind of shoves Zeratul to the side and then, and then uh, Zeratul kind of lo- looks over like, Ugh! and then you see the mages begin to try to crawl through the bodies. I mean, before they were going to do that, I was going to do something. Okay, well, what are you, you going to do? I was going to summon Verdant Ally okay. and have the Verdant Ally push the bodies away. Right. Okay. Basically, sort of. I don't think they'll. Be, the formless will be able to move through my um, verdant ally. Right. Like they would through the. Um, I need to see verdant. I we, I didn't put it on the thing. I haven't put it up yet. Okay. Right. But I'm sorry, man. I will send it to you eventually. I'm not done with it yet. But okay. if if you want, I can think of something else. Right. I I just I I just need to know exactly what the verdant ally would like. Like is so, able to do it's, okay, yeah. Like, is it like a certain level? It's I'll 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 avoid using it. Okay, right? so okay. so I, yeah, I don't want to do that to you, Matt. Um, and then we just need to leave, right? Yeah. I can't I can't blockade us out of it, so we need to leave. Well, you see, you do see Empress Ayuda push Zeratul to the side while mages begin to crawl through. But as they crawl through, one of them gets struck by one of the formless. Okay. Another one gets struck. Doesn't happen. But very close to happening. He's trying to see if the helmets get broken. Yeah, no. One of them is able to is able to get get through completely. Shit. Another one is able to get through completely. Um, So Mm -hmm. that's four total, right? Okay. Um, So all of them are able to get through, but two of them got hit. But thankfully. Their the helmets, hel- helmets yeah. did not get hit off. One almost got very close to it. Gotcha. Okay. How many of them can I see uh, from where I'm at? What do you mean? How like, many? Like, for- formless or? The, uh, the, can I even see the mages anymore? Uh, no, you cannot. They're, they're, they're on the other side. Gotcha. Uh, but you do see, as that happens, it is now Zeratul's turn. Zeratul goes to push Iuda against the wall. He does so. He poof, kind of lifts her up, and she's like, uh, and she grabs onto his, onto his arm, and then uh, roll me a perception check, both of you. Uh, yeah. Twenty-two. Uh, Twenty-two. Twenty-one. Um. Both of you are able to see Ayuda let out a little bit of a whisper towards him. And then Zeratul kind of like looks at him and then you see a a face of like acknowledgement for a second. And then you see he kind of chucks her to the side. Like, don't get in my way! And then uh, he continues to... She's not her. That's a formless. He continues to go to strike at the rest of them. Uh, Killing about four more, so now there is three more formless left in this little horde that has come through. As this is happening, though, you hear... Actually, let me... Let me get that up real quick. There it is. 
you suddenly hear a gust of wind flow past and you feel a a breeze flow past as Zertal goes to try to hold on to himself and you see he's like and you feel a breeze continue to flow and Zeratul begins to push forward as the formless begin to just topple down from, from this from this breeze and you then see a bright almost like a an orangish brown aura begin to emanate from the hallway mm-hmm. and coming from it is a, a figure with flowing brunette hair that flows back and has an arrow link that is extended out and uh, she has her hand out extended and she's f- literally flying through this tunnel and blowing the form the formless back and you see beside her are the mages and they're they're kind of limping oh, closer it's Arcasia. And she continues to <laughs> blow towards Zeratul. Zeratul is fighting it off. And she yells out, well, it kind of echoes out with the, with the wind. You hear, everyone out now. We're going to seal him in. I like that idea. <laughs> and uh, as she continues to move forward, she gets inside of the chamber, and he's getting pushed back into into the ar- into the archway. And you uh, you guys begin to move back behind where Arcasia is at. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do you do, William? What do you do? Both of you. I'm going to runic blast with one of my runic scrolls. Okay. So I'm going to take the arcane rune by my side and for uh, two charges, right? And the arcane, which I'm not sure uh, what tier it is. It just says on like the uh, the loadout sheet for the rune forger, just five runic scrolls, right? Oh, so um, runic scrolls, runic scrolls. Go shopping. Channels, yes. Scrolls are made through an elemental sheet that stores energy through uh, the rank of the scroll is the rank of the ability. Uh, you must also know the magic script, yeah. Um, basically, the amount of the amount of charges that you use is how many is how many dice it is. Mm-hmm. Um, so you can use a runic scroll, you can use all three, and then you you basically get three. Of them, gotcha. So I'm going to use it at three. Actually, no, no, no. You you use you use your ability mm-hmm. using the scroll. Mm-hmm. So it's like um, the abil- so. Do you have talent in it? Uh, it's runic missile, right? It's runic blast. Runic blast. Okay. Uh, how many charges does it say? Uh, it says it costs two charges. Okay, so it costs two charges, and you have one one charge left on the runic scroll. Uh, on the runic scroll? Yes. Oh, I didn't realize they had charges. Yeah. Okay. Um, gotcha. Then definitely I will do that, and uh, I don't know what it says for the runic blast. I should uh, use the rank of the uh, ability, but I'm using it through the scroll. So it's it's still the it's still the uh, oh so the rank is rank two. Rank two. Yeah. Okay. So I will use d sixes, right? Uh, and I guess it would it be at uh, maximum, right? So six d six. Uh, no, it wouldn't be 66. It would two, be 2d6. 2d6, okay. Yeah. I'm doing that to try and collapse the tunnel. Yeah. So, I'm no, gonna... to The tunnel? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I guess I'll do that again, right? Okay. Yeah. So, in total, all I've done it. Um, I didn't realize there were charges, so... Yeah, that's both of my runic, runic scrolls for runic blast gone, but in total, that's... Twelve points of what I hope would be like geo damage, right? Like 
like earth moving damage. Yeah, it, it <laughs> begins to shoot out projectiles mm-hmm. as as it begins to. Uh, you see the the ceiling. It it looks like it's beginning to to get bro- like broken up as mm-hmm. as it kind of blasts blasts forward. How many times did you say you did it? I did that twice. Twice. Okay, you because that's it's both my offensive twice. forms. Yeah. yeah. Um. I don't think it does. It, it doesn't use a. Uh, it uses maneuvers, but it doesn't. It's maneuvers. Use, it doesn't oh. use your offensive form. Oh shoot! Yeah. Okay, I don't have any more of those scrolls, so I'm the uh, the two defensive forms. All right. Yeah. You blast forward. Uh, and you the, ma- the mages also no- notice this, and and mm-hmm. they'll they'll work with you. Uh, what are you doing? Well, Lynn? Can I sense that they're trying to collapse the tunnel to trap Zeratul with us and the mages? That's, that's what. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, in this case, I am going to... But Arcasia is inside the chamber, too. With you. Yeah, With yeah. you. Well, and the other room? Well, and the uh, other uh, everyone is else is, in, is, is, is inside the hallway, mm-hmm. getting ready to collapse the, the place in. Mm-hmm. But Arcasia is inside the chamber, gotcha. along with you, who is at the edge of the chamber. Okay. And where's Ayuda? And what? And where's Ayuda? Ayuda is... is it, like in the in the hallway, like, like it, got in, it. In, okay, yeah, in the path. To clarify, I would have tried to collapse the mouth of the tunnel where it opens up into the room. Was that possible? Uh, are you inside the room? No, I was in the tunnel. You'd have to be inside the room to do that. Okay, no, <laughs> um, uh, I'm collapsing the. Tunnel I would the tunnel. I would allow for you to be inside the room to when you were doing that. Yeah. Um. But I mean. No, I yeah. don't care. You have your back to to zero tool. <laughs> how far away is uh, Palace and the other mages from me? Uh, probably about like fifteen feet. Fifteen. Okay, yeah. So, well, that cancels that other thing I was gonna do. Um, I w- I'm gonna try to shoot a plasma arch to break to like collapse the tunnel. Okay. Um, as you guys do so, you begin to kind of blast upward. Uh, the mages all they they all like pull out what looks like these heavy weapons that they begin to kind of throw at the ceiling because they have no energy left. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, as you do so, I need to go ahead and roll damage. Mm-hmm. You did 12, right? Yes. Uh, is this one cocked right here? Do you think? Or- yes no. or no? No? Okay, I got it. Too bad. Okay. Oh, there's the other one. Yes. Uh, you see it begins to break apart. Some of the rubble begins begins to fall onto the dead bodies of the formless. Um, it's not completely covered. It, it's like halfway up there. You, you need you need to break more. Maybe a, f- a few more, a few more might might do it. <laughs> uh, but as that happens, it is now Zeratul's turn. Can you go after Ayuda, please? Are you just in the tunnel? No, I would have collapsed. No, oh, oh wait, you mean you? She's mean, in the hallway. Wait, wait, you right. mean I? I? I yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she, she's, she's 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 in, in the she's in the tu- she's in the tunnel. It's oh. you, Arcasia, and Zeratul in that room, and some yeah, formless, I'm sure. Probably. All right. You see Zeratul <laughs> begin to push back on the. The gust of wind that is being pushed against him um, into into the archway, uh, and he continues to push. Let's use his maneuvers to do this. It and one more time, he <laughs> pushes through. Let's see if he can jump up to her. 
does jump up to her. Ooh, that's not good. Arcasia, you see Zerto jump up, grab onto Arcasia, and she gets slammed into the ground. With one of his suplex. You see she <coughs> she falls to the ground and then uh, you, you see Zeratul lift her up by the neck and she's <coughs> and you hear William And you see her, and he's like, and her neck goes limp. Is she like dead instantly? And you see he throws her to the side, and she, she looks limp. Just in no, no sign of life whatsoever. You're not sure. You, you've, you've seen, you've seen, yeah. uh, wounds. Like broken bones be healed instantly mm-hmm. by like med waves and stuff. Um, so there is a potential chance, but you got to get to her quick. I, and, since I can see her, I want to use a uh, life giver. Okay. Okay. And since that's one of the abilities I chose for the, di- for uh, the dice pool. Yeah, that was the end of his turn. And the formless are all under the rubble now. Mm-hmm. And. It is your turn, so go ahead. So yeah, I'll use Life Giver, have the max amount of dice pool for it, so I get 60 12s. Okay. 48. 48? Okay. You... Uh, and since I have talent in it, it can also be applied to stamina and energy. Okay. You have to go up. You, so you, you, you rush over to her mm-hmm. and you go to do this. You are vulnerable. Uh, I would like you to roll me a defensive form. Agility and quick reflexes. Smart. Sorry, guys. I turned off the music for a second. Um uh, Twenty nine, twenty nine, total. Yes, it was not too good. He <laughs> slashes straight into your back. Dang, that's not good. You're so lucky. <laughs> what is that? Um. So. Take seventeen points to your energy, mm-hmm. and you also take three points to your armor threshold. Okay. Got it. And you see it <laughs> siphons out of you. And he's like, get out of my way! I don't want to kill you yet! Um, and you do heal her. You see it... Her neck kind of snaps back too, and it begins to kind of like revert back a little bit. And you spend that energy as you took that attack. And you see her... She gasps for breath. He's like... Uh, what do you, what do you do? I would. I, how much time has passed from when the tunnel collapsed to me healing? Uh, only about like six seconds. Shit! Oh, that's not long enough. Okay, so from there, I am going to. Are you Are you gonna keep blasting the? Can I still see through the debris? Or... Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
You can see the top of Zeratul's head. Top of Zeratul's head. I am going to use Plasma Shield. And I'll use that at its max thing, too. Plasma Shield, okay. Yes. It's not too good, unfortunately. Um, 25. 25, okay. Yes. But I'll be standing, like, to block it, it from going at uh, Arcasia. Like, I'll stand right in the middle of that. Okay. Um, Palace, I need you to roll me a discipline. We'll check. Okay. Well, you, what? It was a 25. 25? Yeah. 33 on the discipline will check. With my disciples will. Nice. Okay. Nice. And, uh... Is it 25 the plasma 25 shield? 25 for plasma shield. As that happens... Um... Anything else you're gonna do on your um, turn? Um... Energetic flow. If that's possible. You're going to be vulnerable to an attack with, with that because you're going to start kind of breathing and he's literally right He's literally right, right in front of you. But I do have the, pla- I do have you, the plasma shield. You do have shield, the plasma shield. And if even if he does get through, I can still reverse some of that back through him, right? Yes. Okay, so then I'll do that. Okay, well, he does get through. Of course. I'm waiting with runic missiles ready to try and further collapse the tunnel. You hear something... And then you hear you you hear like a and you feel a pull come from behind you to a pull to leave to leave yeah leave like a pull coming from behind you like like it almost feels like something tugs at the back of your neck and then you look back and you see the okay. the tunnel leading back okay. That's it. Gotcha. Um, sorry. I, I like. There's, there's multiple thing, th- things going yeah. on. Um, so he goes and 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 strikes into you as you begin to do your energy energetic flow. Did you roll for it? Not yet. No. Um, got it. And he does strike into you. Oh my god. I hate this. Doing the exact same 53. Exact same amount of damage from before. Yeah. So 17 points to your. So 53, 17 of that. And so then, that's 36. Okay. Um, remember, your armor threshold takes away from it. And your, but your armor threshold does go down by three yes. again. And your, and your energy does take the full 17 points. Got you. Okay. <clears throat> and you you uh you can shock him. Oh, I will definitely do yeah, that. Go ahead, shock him. And I'll spend the full energy to do so. I am no longer holding holding runic missiles. I've stowed my scroll. I'm instead going to take three stamina potions. All right. Actually, no, I'll just take two defensive forms. Fifty. Fifty total? Yes. Alright. You see it. <laughs> it hurts him and he's like, oh, I'm done with you. And then you see uh, his armor begins to morph. His titanium armor begins to morph. And you see it begins to charge up this black energy straight at you where you are literally right in front of Arcasia mm-hmm. right now um I need you to one way dodge check quick reflex oh but Arcasia's right there so it's gonna hit her yep I move out of the way can I take her with me at all can I like do something for that or can I have the Ritanium helmet uh find a way to block it 
you can uh this is oh, what does the Vritanium helmet do? Yeah, let me let me read it. I, I think it'll work. Yeah. I'm not sure if I actually can, but I'm curious. Yes. You can take one point to your armor threshold and and deflect back a, a projectile. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, please. Take one point to your armor threshold and then deflect back projectile. You're even more OP than you all even knew you were. Yeah. This, he doesn't this, pay attention to that stuff. This is news to me. <laughs> Honestly, you'd probably do a lot better than I am. <laughs> That's Nine, sixteen plus six twenty-two. Twenty-two points of void damage <laughs> projected straight back at him as he he gets blasted, and then you see his armor kind of begin to shape back into into him as he let's take that damage. 22. Oh, wait. That's two. Wait, what is. Oh, never mind. He. It does. Ju- it just. Actually, no, no, no. That, that, that does do damage to him. Sorry. Like. <clears throat> the armor decided to, sh- to morph. Mm. 28. And 22 minus. As that happens, he look, looks over, like, and he just stares at you. He's like, "No, I don't need help. No, I, I got this." And he he looks kind of crazy. Your mission is me, Zeratul. Remember your mission. As that happens. Um. Pass, what are you doing? I am going to say, William, I'm going to close the tunnel. Close it now. Okay. I will reach uh, back towards my runes. Um, and my no, it was just my scrolls, and I'm going to activate runic missile twice. Okay. Missile or blast? Uh, I ran out of uh runic blast scrolls, so okay. I have my runic missile scroll. All right. Um, um, and you have talent in it. Uh, it's just a, it's, it's just, just scroll, scroll, so it's not it's not gonna. Um, so an amount of charges. So it would be two two charges, right, for the the runic scroll. So, plus the rune forge form bonus. Uh, plus two. Uh, my rune forge rank is five plus talent. So would it be uh, two plus six, right? And then so that's eight, and then eight for each missile, right? Uh, eight. Yeah, I believe I changed it. On you changed there. it. Okay, sorry. It's okay. Yeah. This is why you gotta use it. You got. You gotta use chosen creation. I'm not high tech. You gotta, gotta, you gotta use chosen creation. I'm. I'm. I'm pencil and paper. Runic missile. Magic missile. Mm-hmm. Basically, what it is. It's a missile. It's magical. There you go. Uh, you should. Mean... So the set difficulty is your level plus rune to rank plus. Abilities rank, so it'd just be the actual, um, the rank of the of the runic scroll. What, what's the rank? Uh, the, rank two, quality two. Okay. Well, then it would it would just be a, a rank two. So two plus runes rank. What's the runes rank? Would it just be the scrolls rank, or do I do I need to use a scroll? You actually need to use a rune. Okay, the it. runes rank is three. Three. Okay, so that's five plus your level. My level nine. Nine. Okay. Okay. Okay, yeah, you, 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 
<laughs> blast multiple of them. I need you to roll the D8s plus, uh, plus three. Plus three? Uh, so 2D8s plus three? Yes. It's a good one. Also pretty good. Uh, 15. 15, okay. As that happens, the rest of the mages and Ayuda go to begin to blast into ceiling. And the wall <laughs> continues to crumble down. At this point, there is only like a small space that's at the top. Uh, there, There's no room to get through. Okay. Unless you literally go in and start pulling out the rubble. Gotcha. I'm going to recover my stamina from uh, rolling uh, defensive forms earlier, and then I'm going to f- run back, back towards the crossroads. Okay. You see all the mages are there, also Empress Ayuda, mm-hmm. and they look over towards you as like, well, what are you going to do about them inside there? They're not the mission. Right. And you see em- uh, uh, Empress Ayuda comes up and is like, He's right. Your mission was to rescue. And your mission specifically was for Emperor Zon, correct? The Red Emperor, yes. And I give her, for the first time, a very wide smile. And she, as she... Not that she can see through my helmet. As but. she looks at you, though, she asks you, and, and who is your, who is your master? Who is my master? Uh, she asks, like, who is your... My ma- forging master. Yes. Oh, Master Talvin, of course. You see, uh, you see, she, uh, she kind of sighs and is like, what, you're not surprised at my course of actions? It's exactly as it was planned. And as she looks up towards you, she pulls off her, her helmet. And you see all the mages are like, Empress, Empress, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? And she looks over at, at the rest of them. And then she goes and grabs one of the mages mm-hmm. and s- snaps their, their neck. Okay, how many mages are left? Uh, there are four. Now three. Now three? Okay, I'm going to activate um, Extract Essence for Energy. Okay. And I'm going to... Uh, go max on draining energy from the other two. Okay. So the first one, uh, let me get out a dice roller because that's a lot. I just typed extract essence into instead of dice roller. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not nervous at all. Why don't you know about this? Um, Why do I hear boss music? <laughs> uh, I spent 42 energy. Okay. And I get 53 energy from them. Okay, you <laughs> extract the... Well, you actually only get a total of... 27. Okay, I can't get more than what they have to give. Yes. I see. <laughs> Okay, that was a bad. But mistake. they all <laughs> you 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 recover back, mm-hmm. and you have, <sighs> and you see she looks over at you. She's like, I didn't expect it to be a rune forger. I I thought that it would be something, or oh, another mage. Shall we go to Zon, though? Yes, I think. And I still have the, the pole? You still have the pole. I follow the pole. You begin to head out, William. As you are sitting there, breathing in and out, breathing in and out at Arcasia. After getting after the Ritanium just like blocked the blast, and and Zeratul is just like, I don't need help. I don't need help. I got this. And then 
uh, you see Zeratul's like, <clears throat> and you, you see him back away. He's like, why do you got to be so strong, you little punk? Because we used to be strong together. I don't know you. You did. <sighs> we did much together. <sighs> Fine. Fine. I'm done. And you see him back up. And as he backs up, you... You notice something. Sounds of the explosions outside. Above you. They've ceased. And then you hear come from behind you. And then you see another one. <laughs> Three of them. Void riffs. As stepping through all of them, you see what looks like multiple Black Radicons. They all smile at you. And you see Zeratul begin to walk over with his with his head down. He seems upset, very upset. And as he walks over towards one of them that looks familiar to you. You then hear another one. This one is much larger of a rift. And stepping through it comes a Another towering reticon, but this time he is wearing, he is do- adorned by golden armor. His body, green and purple, all around. You see, floating around him are multiple void rooms that <laughs> circle around him. And the void rooms begin to. <laughs> begin to float towards all of the members inside this inner circle that you see they all grab on to the rooms igniting them into weapons of their own and you see the figure the central figure walks up to William Soar looks beneath him and says William Soar I have waited a long time for this I will break your spirit and then your body for I am the dusk and you William Soar you look up at him and you see the black in his eyes and from behind him you see the face of Eve Moore with a large smile on her face laughing maniacally with tears in her eyes and that's where we will end this session
I thank you for listening to Dusk vs. Dawn. With each entry, we explore deeper aspects of the turmoil within the Core Realms. I hope you are listening carefully as we get closer to the climax of Evemore's will. Also, if you want to be reborn yourself, you can subscribe as a chosen to access chosen creation and exclusive codex entries. Until next time, travelers. Be safe. Stay safe. And if death comes to you, may you be reborn in power. <laughs>